So today, folks, we're going to make uh, fish and chips for our lunch. We've got our flour, self raising flour, We've got our beer, salt and pepper, and some water for the, the water down our, beer, our batter a bit. We've got our chips already cut, and we've soaked them in water just to take off the starch from them. We'll do those in a second. We've got our cut fillets from Keenan Seafood. We've cut them in half, we're just going to serve them uh, six portions. So we've got our fish cut ready to go. And we've got our flour here. So self raising flour, plenty of salt, just to make it the batter more crispy. White pepper, you don't want to have specks of black pepper on it. Give it a bit mix around. Gonna add our beer. Give it a bit mix. And don't worry if it goes on lumpy. But once you start mixing it, the lumps will fall out. Plus you're going to rest it. Just going to add a drop of water. We're just going to add water slowly at a time. You just don't want to be starting adding more flour. As you can see it's a wee bit lumpy, so you just beat it with a whisk. And then we're going to add a wee touch more water. We're going to set it to the side then. And the lumps will fall out of it once it settles. And then you just go back to it and give it a wee whisk. There's nearly all the lumps out now. We'll just set that to the side. We're going to get our peas. We've got fresh peas here for our, our mushy peas. So we'll turn them on. We're going to boil them for about four or five minutes. Get them on the go. The first thing we want to do is put its oven on. 200, uh, 150 degrees, 180 degrees. I'm going to do our chips into the oven and then our fish. So we'll do our chips first. So you can read your basket. And put these be household uh, fryers, just do small batches at a time. Because once you put the chips in, that reduces the oil temperature. And you don't want the chips to go all mushy. So just batches at a time, there's no rush. And then put the lid down. Chips in the flour. Uh, shake. Once the chips are ready, I'm going to put them in the fryer or into the oven. We're going to do our mushy peas and then batter our fish. Okay, after our chips are ready, just give them a shake of excess oil. Put them in the tray. We'll fry them in the oven while we're making our mushy peas. So our peas have been boiling for 45 minutes. We're going to drain them. And then put them into the processor. So we now have butter. We have salt. We've got pepper. I'm going to give it a wee splash of garlic oil. Sometimes you can add fresh mint, but I just prefer to keep it the, just the mushy peas. So we'll do the next round. And turn them off. There we splash them there we Mix. And back on again for a couple of seconds. That's our mushy peas ready. Now we're just we're gonna butter our cloth. Okay, that's our mushy peas made. We we'll just take them out of the wee mixer and we we'll put it in a wee dish ready to serve. Now we're gonna do our fish. So we'll turn the fryer up. To 180. Take it out of the basket and so it's just going to drop the fish into it just nice and carefully. So we'll check our batter, make sure there's no lumps. That's all good to go. And we've got some more flour and it's going to go in our batter. 
So we got our half of our cod fillet. And just cover it in flour. Knock off any excess. And do a batter. And just knock it to the side of the bowl. Just to take off any excess batter. You want it to be nice, thin, crispy batter. And then we're going to enter our So just nice and gently, we're dropping it in. And that's our. We'll just fry that until it's nice and golden brown. Okay, when we're frying our cod, we we'll just turn it over the other side and then cook on that side. You could do two or three fillets, well, maybe two fillets at a time. You don't want them to be too much, as I said before. So, you don't want them to reduce the temperature of the oil. You want to keep it nice and hot and get your fish really crispy. So, turn it over again. Let's fry that and then we'll clear this pinch. Hey, that's our cod ready. Just turn it out of the fryer. Drain on the oil. Make sure it's well drained. Want to set it aside to rest. Got to eat. Season. A little bit of pepper. And take our chips. Fresh chips. Spoonful of our mushy peas. A cod fillet. And we go ahead. We squeeze the lemon. And there you have it, folks. So our cod and chip. A mushy piece. Okay, you can check out the rest of my recipes on my YouTube channel, The Isolated Chef. Thanks very much. Bye.